Dalam 10 tahun terakhir, banyak dokter di Amerika Serikat mencermati semakin banyak pasien yang memanfaatkan perangkat wearable, barang elektronik yang dipakai di perkelangan tangan, jari atau bagian tubuh lain, dan digunakan memantau kesehatan. In my clinic, I've seen more patients starting to ask about their wearable devices. So some of that may be watches or rings that they've used or even pulse oxes that they have at home. And, and they're asking, what does this data mean? Or I'm experiencing this, can you look at what the output of this device is? And it's kind of empowered them to take things beyond our office visit to try and understand why they may be feeling something. Menurut pantauan kantor berita Associated Press, ada sedikitnya 400 perusahaan optimalisasi kesehatan dan nutrisi di seluruh dunia. Masing-masing menawarkan solusi terhadap obesitas dan gangguan kesehatan terkait. Ahli medis umumnya mengingatkan kehadiran pelacak kesehatan seperti yang banyak ada di pasaran saat ini bukanlah solusi instan dan sekedar bisa membantu pasien atau pengguna untuk memaksimalkan pemantauan sebelum akhirnya dikonsultasikan dengan dokter. Analis mengingatkan peralatan seperti ini bukan bertujuan untuk mengobati diri sendiri. The watches are going to tell you how many steps you walked, maybe they'll tell you how many calories you burned, they're not very accurate. I had estimating that which is a separate problem. Um, but there's not this clear idea of what's the use case, right? What is the problem you're trying to solve with this information? Data yang diperoleh dari perangkat elektronik, bila pun akurat, hanya digunakan sebagai panduan. Some of the rings can kind of tell them what their heart rates are like, how their sleep is impacted, you know, how much sleep they're getting, how deep that sleep is. Some of them can even tell about body temperature, so are they... get starting to get sick or not. Menurut Dr. Lakshmi, semua ini sebagai bentuk peringatan dini. For some patients, it's been helpful for them that when they feel something, they're reassured that the the rhythm looks okay. I've had other patients that have said, you know, now I know why I'm having so many palpitations. I'm not getting enough sleep or it's not deep enough sleep. So now I'm working on that. Um, that so some patients have even said that when they were Right before they were getting COVID or some other illness, they noticed that their ring was telling them that their temperature was creeping up. So it's been interesting to see those uh, little uh, tips that patients can see in themselves before they actually surface to our office. Penggunaan perangkat pelacak kesehatan melesat sejak pandemi COVID saat banyak orang ekstra ketat memantau kesehatan sendiri. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.